Hello and welcome to time series forecasting. In the previous video, I talked about the simple exponential smoothing method, which is an in-between method that assigns various uh, weights to previous observations. And this method was in between the average method where we assign equal weights to all the historical observations and the naive method where we assign all the way to the most recent observation. So what instead we do in simple exponential smoothing method is we control for how much weight we want to assign to each observations and the weights depend on the value of alpha which is between 0 and 1 and in the previous video I said that if alpha is closer to 1 then we assign more weight to the most recent observations and the weight decay very rapidly. On the other hand, if alpha is closer to zero, small weights are assigned to the most recent observations and the weights, uh, they decay pretty slowly over time. Since the assignments of these weights depend on the value of alpha, we need to estimate uh, the value of uh, alpha. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how to estimate the value of uh, this smoothing parameter. And uh, the value of uh, this smoothing parameter can be estimated using what we call a component uh, form. We'll have two equations. One equation is called the forecast equation and the other equation is called the smoothing equation. And our forecast will depend on LT which is the level. And then we have uh, our smoothing equation where level depends on uh, the previous level that is whatever level was in uh, time t minus 1 and the value of alpha. And hence here we have uh, two unknown to estimate L and alpha. We can estimate these values manually or we can minimize sum of squared residuals to estimate uh, the initial level of L0 and to get the value of uh, our smoothing parameter. In R you use SES function. First argument is uh, your time series and uh, the forecast uh, horizon that you want to use and this function will estimate uh, the initial level and uh, this alpha parameter for you. In addition you can also manually assign the value of alpha and you can control how much weight you want to assign to the previous uh, observations. In the next video I'm going to show you an example using simple exponential smoothing and then I will explain you this whole algorithm using uh, the same example and showing you how the estimation works and how this algorithm is used to forecast uh, a particular variable. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.